you know what time it is. It's time for me to read your weird messages. Is that a cool tagline for the for this segment? Reading your weird messages. No, no auto tune, none of that. We're going raw. We're going raw on the vocals. Okay. We already know about going raw online. You bet not be, but we're going raw with the vocals today. What's up, guys? And girls and whoever you are. We're doing the damn thing again. Now, here's a, there's a few things I want to talk about before we get into this. Um, first of all, I'm standing because I'm tired of y'all calling me short, and I want you to see that I'm indeed tall. I'm taller than this fucking door right here. All right, you got the same door in your house, and my head is clearing it, okay? Secondly, everyone got very animated in the comments on the last video, which I understood. Last video, I went back and looked at it, and I, I had a moment where I said, this stuff is <clears throat> just a little too much. Maybe it's not too much, but it was rough. I reached out to the person who said they had a stalker, and I said, hey, me and all good intention people uh, who saw the video uh, would be remiss if we didn't make an attempt to say you should get some legal protection and you should take care of yourself. So I did that, and this person reached back to me and said that they were going to take the necessary steps, and they are indeed okay, and they appreciated uh, everyone's concern. They also said... I just watched the video. I'll get that restraining order so I don't get cut up. Being in a documentary would be cool, though. And I told them, you know, fame is easier when you're dead. That's a fact. You get hella deals when you die. It's crazy. All right, so we got that out the way. We can all rest easy knowing that our person is, is more or less safe, okay? All right, let's get into this. Now, here's the thing. I have come to realize that some of you define weird as um, bodily fluids, that's weird to you, is bodily fluids. The amount of stories, man, with doo-doo in them. I didn't know doo-doo was such a pervasive weapon in high school and junior high. I mean, I thought the last round of stories was messed up. This round was just, oh, every DM. Smear doo-doo here, put doo-doo there. I just had, I had to, I had to, I cut them all out, all right? There's very little, if any, doo-doo stories. Uh, in this round and I don't know after after this round I might be done I said that in the last video and I might be done because I don't know if I can psychologically handle what has been going through my inbox so you know what I'm gonna give you all a round of applause because you did what I set out to be done in in the second video which is uh, y'all have not only weirded me out y'all have tired me out you've stressed me out okay my, my DMs is is a is a landfill it's a haunted house of dms it's awful now just before we get into everything you know we got to take what is about to be a weird little time and sweeten it up with none other than honey now you might be thinking to yourself noel what kind of honey are you talking about and i'm i'm talking about that sweet sweet drizzling scent of saving money with an online shopping tool honey is a free online shopping tool that automatically finds promo codes and applies them to your shopping cart this is how it works it's very straightforward uh, you're shopping online and when you go to checkout okay maybe from one of your favorite websites like best Spy.com, Target, you name it. There's a whole bunch of stores that Honey works with. In the upper right hand corner of your browser is a little H and you click on it and it puts you a little drop down and there's just a button there that says apply promo codes. And from there, it'll automatically start searching and, and trying which one is gonna be the best one and save you the most money. Now me personally, I've used Honey a lot uh, when, when shopping for clothes. Um, I've, I saved at least a couple hundred bucks last year using Honey on just different clothing websites. So, uh, I mean, that part is very cool. Obviously it feels very good to save money because you have more money to spend. So as soon as I save that money i went right back and i, I bought more clothes <laughs> honey's dope man it works on over thirty thousand stores and they have over a hundred thousand five star reviews so you know they're doing something right it's free to use just two clicks to install okay you're you're literally giving money away by not at least giving it a chance so you can do that by using my link joinhoney.com slash noel download it install it to your chrome browser and it's totally free 100 percent free stop playing around start saving some money all right strap in let's get into this nastiness <laughs> Noel, it's your biggest fan. Collins of Durfing fame, mom. Now, hold up. <laughs> this ain't weird. This is cool. <laughs> Collins' mom really slid in my DMs. That's crazy. Uh, I'm not going to read the rest of this um, because it's, it's quite personal. But uh, Collins' mom reached out. So how's that for fun? How's that for a positive note? Me and Collins' family, we clicked up. We're good. So, you know, you can watch that interview. You can watch that Durfing music video in peace. <laughs> weird DM. It's weird. She put exclamation marks on it so you know it's weird. One day at lunch in high school, my friends and I were looking at old pictures on our phones. And my friend Brayden, this is... 
<laughs> this is, I already know this is the suburbs. My friend Braden glances at Hannah's phone and says, who is that bald man? And everyone at the table started laughing super hard. Then it got really awkward because that picture was actually of Hannah's late mother who was bald in the photo because of her cancer treatments. Don't do it. Don't do I know. You want to laugh, don't do it. If I have Noah put a bald man on screen right now, you better not laugh. <laughs> How could you imagine that shit, bro? Oh, my God. Hey, bro, is this Walter White? What scene is this? That's my mom. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Just going around the table bro come on this your mom this ain't your mom bro ain't this walter white this gotta be walter white man come on look at that look at that look at that that's walter white bro that's 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 <laughs> season two episode three right there once we looked into a lot of my teacher's history and we found out that one of our teachers is a war criminal what hey they found coney bro these kids found coney that's crazy <laughs> a sub had a husband that killed himself after the fbi found a no we just no no, I don't. We don't. We don't need that. We don't need that. My first time doing the dance with no pants consisted of me. D the dance with no pants. Just be be an adult, man. The first time I did it, it. I say be an adult, and I still don't say the word. <laughs> be an adult, man. Tell us about the time you had. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so this is for weird DMs. All right, just so we're clear, everybody, this is for weird DMs. So there's a set of twins that went to my elementary school, and they were both creepy as fuck. They rubbed. I thought I cut these out. I really thought I cut these out. I'm not. I am. I'm going to read it. They rubbed doo-doo on the walls of the bathroom. Went in the stall together. Oh, boy. <laughs> Took a whiz in the sinks. I'm trying to really keep this monetized. I'm really trying. You guys are making it very hard for me. Anyway, one day in second grade, my friend and I were playing with Legos, and one of the twins said she wanted to show us something and led us to the corner of the room. All right, I, I, I'm, I'm not. You know what? Noah, just do a funny cut around that because I'm not finishing this one. That's that's foul. I try your best, but you don't succeed. You need a therapist because that was horrible. What the hell you just told me? No one should have to go through that, and I hope you're okay. The guy I matched with on Bumble just told me he is sexually attracted to inflatable objects. I think this is going to be my year. No, he's not. No, he's not. And if he is, prove it. All right? I want you to send us a video of him banging a bounce house. <laughs> Bestiality. Nope. Dude, 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 check out my bestiality story now. Now we're not, we're not. Hey, bud, right here, right here, nice and close. We're not, we're not doing that. I don't even know what kind of animal was involved, but you know he'd be getting flashbacks. Just in a pet smart, and he see a rabbit, and he just go, oh. Sir, can I help you with anything? Uh. It's <sighs> getting. The room is getting big. Um, I started a rumor that this kid I hate, his parents were cousins, and everyone still believed. <laughs> That's mean, but so funny. Cause that that's like a that's like a thing that's like small and like needles someone for years. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's so fucked up. One time I was on my way to school and I saw my crush riding by. We were both on a bike, and I knew she'd be taking a different route than me since I see her a lot. I decided to go the same route and start a conversation. I caught up with her and we talked. Halfway through, I lost control and bumped into her, and she fell onto a parked car, broke the glass, hit her head, and got a concussion. She hasn't talked to me since, probably because she doesn't know who you are. You got so eager to get in there that you... <laughs> You deleted yourself from her memory. She woke up in the hospital. She was like, oh, God, how did I get here? Uh, Toby, uh, your classmate, he ran into you on his bike, and he sent you into a parked car. You actually broke through the glass. You got a concussion. Toby's here with flowers. Toby? Who? When they came out to you in the waiting area, they were like, yeah, she says she don't know who you are, bro. And you just stand there with them flowers like. Oh, yeah, it's cool. No, it's all right. Yeah. No, nah, I, mean, I must have had the wrong uh, Marissa. All right. Yeah, I'll, I'll be out. I'll get out of here. I'm sorry. After my grandpa's funeral, my family gathered at my grandma's house to console her. Damn. They hit that bitch with an Xbox. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry. My mom asked me to put his urn. He was cremated. Put the urn on the mantle, and in the middle of doing so, I dropped it in front of everyone, of course. It shattered, and ashes went all over the carpet. If it wasn't already bad enough with my grandma shrieking, her dogs ran over and started licking up the ashes. <laughs> oh, it's okay, though. I didn't like him that much anyway. Oh! He was just standing there watching them dogs, like, yeah, eat his ass up, bro. Eat that shit up. Just kill it. Put it down, Tuco. Eat that shit. I just saw your video. I wanted to give you one of my stories. Okay, cool, dude. My mom used to be in and out of the house a lot, and I had the place to myself often when I was a kid. Oh, she was on her hot girl summer shit. I would do normal shit like watch TV too loud and play games. But one day I went into her bedroom. Bro, we, we know this story. You went in there, and, and you found her magic wand. And you tried to brush your teeth with it, and you were like, why does it feel weird on my mouth? And then your mom came home with her new boyfriend, and she was like, ah, and then sent you to your dad's house, and you were not allowed there for a while. <laughs> one time, a bunch of us guys hanging out in high school, and one dude went to the bathroom and was taking forever, so someone else who had to piss peed in his one-third full can of Monster in hopes of trying to get him to actually take a sip. This is such a white dude story. <laughs> Yo, piss in his monster. See if he sips that shit. <laughs> so it's basically a full can of monster, but mostly piss. I think we got that part. I think we get it. There's pee in the can. We understand. The kid came back and immediately smelled the piss and refused, but didn't dump it out. About a half hour later, one of our friends came in and said, Oh shit, is that that new monster flavor? Dude takes a massive swing before we could say anything. He dead ass says, Fuck, that tastes like piss. Probably just warm. He then puts the drink in the fridge. We're in awe, so we don't say anything. He comes back to it an hour later and fucking... Y'all some assholes, man. Y'all some assholes. You know, well, I've got a confession. I lost my virginity to my best friend's sister. You a dick. You a dick. Messed up, bro. One time in college library, I said, okay, no, I just... I'm gonna be honest. I just glanced through this one. I just saw a wheelchair. I don't even want to do it. I'm out. Next. <laughs> I literally just saw your weird DMs and it sparked a memory in primary school. Oh shit, primary school. So they gotta be, what, where do they say primary school? Europe, maybe Australia, I don't know, I'm gonna do this one in English. In primary school, I think there's like first grade, we had kids who were like long distance peers. Basically they stand dumb far away from the urinals and piss into them. Oh bro, I do this shit all the time. I do this shit in the club. <laughs> I go to the club, stand eight feet away from the urinal. What up, man? You'll be careful. You might want to walk around my backside. I'm trying to go for a record today. Look at my jumper. Look at my three-point jumper. <laughs> Look at that. Raining on him. Buckets. Buckets. One day I went to the bathroom. I interrupted one of these people long distance peeing. I walked in and said, uh, what are you doing? Gaining his attention, he turned mid piss and said, what? He was still pissing. He pissed all over me. Damn, that's cold. You interrupted his shit. He was like, huh? Did you about to say something? I didn't think so. Because you got pee in your mouth. Next time, mind your business, bro. Stupid. Stupid. Oh, wait. Yo, hey, this right here, this one's the money. I've seen this one, and I saved it for this very reason. I've never told my best friend to this day, but when we were younger, I made an account and blackmailed her and sent hateful messages. She came to me crying, and I comforted and supported her. Then I kept doing it. First of all, you're sick. Flat out, you're sick. Second of all, I never would have guessed that you were capable of something like this based on all previous messages in this thread um, that I took a gander through. 15, 16, 17. Look at that, look at that, look at that. See, see all that shit? You crazy, lady. You crazy. Get help. Call your dad. One time I was on vacation to visit my grandparents and all of my cousins were there too. I was sleeping in the same bunk bed as one of my male cousins. Oh, please no. Please not one of these fucking... Nee, 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 nee. And then my cousin married my... Fuck my brother and then we all... <laughs> I was listening to music and I fell asleep and then woke up at like 2 a.m. and started to feel the bed shake. I was like, hey, maybe it's just moving around, but I heard him grunting while the bed violently shook and stopping for a second and then going again. He was also snapping his girl. Oh yeah, so he was he was just he was just going down there. Just wake up in the middle of the night, just like, oh shit. Fucking real? Oh shit, okay, okay, all right, relax. Fuck, oh, earthquakes in Iowa, this is fucking. In your weird DMs, you talked about the person finding a boy jacking. We found Epstein's burner, guys, we found it. It's right here. He's still alive, tweeting from the burner. <laughs> I don't care what repressed memory you had. This video is me cutting you off. That's what this is now. 
This is me having a little bit of sense. All right, I'm not just letting you guys come up in here. Fuck us up with these intrusive thoughts, okay? I'm cutting it off. All right, flag on the play. 15 yard penalty. Go back. First down. Think about yourself. <laughs> this is a good one. You want to talk about a cousin story? Oh my God, bro. Full disclosure, I know this story because I remember reading it and, and laughing my ass off. But just peep this first line. Hey, so I don't know if this is legal or not. <laughs> And you know exactly where it's going, but I'm going to take you through it. Hey, I don't know if this is legal or not, but one time I was on Tinder and I got a match with this one dude and he asked if I wanted to come over. So I did. And we ended up having sex over the next three months. And I finally decided to have dinner with him and my parents to introduce him after dinner. He left and my parents told me he was my cousin. Think about her dad. That fool walks in and he's like, oh, okay, okay. All right, how do I, how the fuck? I took an improv class. I can do this. I can do this. Hi. Da <laughs> he knows his name already. <laughs> Hi, Toby. Fuck, I didn't. Your name's Toby, right? I think she mentioned. Yeah. Yeah, she mentioned it one time. How's your dad doing? <laughs> she, like, closes the door. She's like, isn't he great? He's your cousin. Do you mean that? In like a figure no that's your cousin let me finish this after dinner he left and my parents told me he was my cousin but my uncle and dad had a falling out and i never knew he existed but i continued to sleep and i don't think it's gonna get weirder than that <laughs> ain't no way it's gonna get weirder than that that was actually, that's that's the weirdest one. That's the weirdest one. So, <laughs> here's where I'm at with this series, man. All the stories, they just fall into now just a couple categories. It's um, incest. It's uh, cousin stuff, doo-doo stuff, and um, I guess uh, uh, virginity stuff. And, and that's it. That's all That's all the weirdness we've had so far. So, Y'all let me know if you if you want to keep this going. Um, but I'm I'm gonna think on it. I'm gonna think on it. I'm gonna think on if I do the next one. You know, it's just uh, I want to see a little bit of variety. But I will say this: these messages give me an idea, and no, it's nothing to do with s smearing doo doo on the walls. <laughs> they give me an idea, and and I'm not gonna tell you what it is. Uh, you'll just have to wait and see. Okay, when I'm selling my doo doo paintings on Etsy. <laughs> All right, you guys, talk to me in the comments, and uh, I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace. <laughs>